Hello everybody, welcome to part 9 of To The Moon. Uh, in the last part we found out that whatever River's condition is, uh, John's friend Isabel, well, John River's friend Isabel, uh, also has the same condition, but she is diagnosed at a younger age, so she's learned to kind of, like, like kind of regress it, keep it hidden within, but and River's just can't do that. And uh, we also learned a little bit more about Animorphs, which I used to watch when I was a kid, but totally forgot most of the trivia about. So I went and Googled the answer to a question, um, but then felt too guilty to actually cheat, so I just went on and carried on with the scene, and only to have River tell me, uh, well, you could have Googled it. This game is just... ah. So we're going to dive back in here, and we're going to just have a little bit more of an insight. Let's see where we go next. Oh, we got a note. Oh, we got a note. I'll, I'll, I'll check the note. Wait. I'll, I'll check the note now. Animorphs. <laughs> Johnny's favourite childhood books. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, where are we going now? Ooh. Ooh. Wow, more forgotten faces. Oh. Everyone's leaving already? I just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jabs for the insecure. This is an interesting little scene. Where are we now? Ah, we're, we're certainly travelling around. What the? Oh gosh, they took the long way around, didn't they? Uh, okay, where are we? Oh wait, is that some more pickled olives? I see the fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. And he's made a few. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. The book too. An aged animorphs book. Is that not is that what counts as a memory? Really? Okay. Alright then, I thought it would have, but okay. Dick around with me. Do I need to go? Not this way? Do I not, not need to not, not go this. in this direction? I guess I have to go up then. The only way. is up. Old school music reference for you. Oh, here we go. Oh. Ah. Wow. He looks dapper. That's what you don't hear much. Not enough anymore. Can we not interact with them? Do we have to go in the lighthouse? Oh, what? Oh. Huh? What? Okay. Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. No. Why? Do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? Is a good name for her. Hey, come with me. Oh, she looks so pretty. The flowers in her hair. Young couples for life.
this can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Dancing in the lighthouse. Oh, that's that's sweet. I like that. Ow, my ass! <laughs> I rubbed the boot a little bit. I think you stepped on my toes. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, let's try it. <laughs> Couldn't do it seriously forever, could they, huh? Ooh, did you spend the night in there? Privacy, privacy! I wasn't looking. Promise to love and comfort and keep in sickness and in health for as long as you it's going to be you both shall live. Doesn't matter though, you get the point right. I do. I do take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband. To promise to love and comfort, to honour and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. Yes. Very unconventional. My partner messaged me, I now pronounce you as husband and wife. Yay, John and River. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wilds. Aww. Aww. Such a nice memory. <laughs> Ach, the wedding. Uh, yeah, what did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, we're about to just take it moment by moment. She's looking at him. Aw. Alright, where's these other memories at? Can we go in here? No. Go in here. Go in this direction, I suppose. Let's we'll go through the, the rubble. Yes. Two more memories to discover here. You to remember that one old guy, huh? Oh, I'd better go see how your aunt is doing. Hi, right, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. Oh, Ma's a bit fuzzy. I'm so proud of you, Joey. <laughs> Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Ack, none of the sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyway? I mean, you should talk about your grandfather a lot. What? Why don't? Whatever you say. There's a memory. And a note. Uh, Joey's name. Name after his grandfather. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it must be. This must be the final memory. I'm so proud of Joey. No, oh, well, I thought that was the last memory. Evidently, something else needs to be done. Somewhere in this vicinity. Ah. Nah. Must be something. Thought it would have been his ma. There's anywhere else we can go, is there? I tried this last time, I didn't get anywhere. Oh, oh, there is one. Cars. So this is okay. So this is even. I mean, well, I mean, the lighthouse was the giveaway. So I guess this this place has got a lot of 
a lot of history. Oh no. Did they kill a bunny? It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? I think this is the source of all those folded paper ones. Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You're the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. <laughs> Dig a bit deeper into the psyches here. She looks pretty in that dress, though. I'm totally allowed to say that. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is great. I have to unlock the memory of a dead bunny. Could be worse, I guess. Could be like guts everywhere and that kind of nice stuff. And there we go, there's another scene of To The Moon done and completed and um, I guess it's kind of a little bit of a sad ending to the part again here. Um, the, the, is, I mean, what, why the obsess over the dead bunny is somebody with the condition I suppose, it's still a lot of things to be discovered here. But we're starting to get a bit further back now and, and little John, bless him, look at him, look at his little suit, doesn't he look awesome? And River in the night's dress with the flowers in her hair. Oh gosh, I'm getting carried away with myself about pixelated characters here. But oh. that was another nice, intriguing part. And when we do the next part, we'll be hit, we'll hit double figures for this series. It'll be part ten. But for now, we'll just say this is the end of part nine. Um, and as I always say to you guys, um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Go like my Facebook page where you can see me waffling on about other stuff that's not just my Let's Play videos. And follow me on Twitter where I, where I waffle on about everything and anything that happens to come to mind. Yes, so there we go. Don't forget to do all that stuff. And while you're at it, have yourself a good morning, afternoon, evening or night. And I'll see you in part 10 of To The Moon. Bye everybody.